Hello my friends and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. There's a big bomb. We are right next to it. I'm sure I like this situation. Uh, if I had been a clever person, I would have given my assault a assault rifle. Probably. That, that could have been a good move, but I didn't. So let's not think about it. Good. Didn't see any aliens. You are going to do that. This puts him in harm's way, kinda, because that's in low cover. That's one of the power nodes we detected. Disabling yes, there's no the no aliens, alien luckily, weapon. so he is not in danger. Oh. It seems you've bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry. Or, well, you know. Yeah, or else we are going to die. Thanks, Dr. Shen. Uh, hmm. Getting it done. Look who's here. Oh, hello, that's an alien. Hey, boy. Perhaps you can shoot it. Kill it. Thank you. These are annoying aliens because they are poisonous, and when you kill them, they leave a poison load. Also, they are called Tin Men. Not to be confused with Tin Men, but maybe they have some similarities. Maybe they have cousins. Yes, Commander. So don't walk into the poison. It's nasty. Believe me. Oh. Sectoid. Well, run even more forward. Disregard your own safety. Roger, Roger. I'm going to move him here. He's probably going to get shot at. Or not. What's with these sectoids and constantly overwatching? Miss. Good job, strike one. That should buy us a few minutes. You mean one turn? Shoot the alien. Ah, there we go. And that is going to take him through the smoke or the poison, isn't it? So unfortunately, I have to do it like this. Just to make sure that he doesn't get poisoned. Ah. Surprising number of sectors here. Usually there's just a lot of tin men. Oh, that's just low cover. Mm. And again with the overwatch. It's so weird. Usually they are way more aggressive than that. Ah, I didn't kill him. Exactly how much aim did you have again? <laughs> I seem to remember that you had. Oh, I seem to be. I seem to remember that I was slightly disappointed in your aim, but. Perhaps I should reassess that. Holy heck. You are just going to run forward. I don't have the time to sit here. Aliens, luckily, and I didn't even disable that. Oh, well. yes, silly me. Perhaps I should have paid more attention. Mm. 
might as well run all the way over there. The sector. Disappointing long distance away. That I think is the bomb itself. Heading to that location. It was a bit risky. Luckily there was no aliens. Heading to that location. Oh. Time. Excellent. That's another one down. Okay. How about you try shooting with your pistol? And you did hit, but obviously it's not going to kill him. Even a critical hit has difficulty killing a sector if you're shooting with a pistol. Now it's firing. Ah. Well, that was an unfortunate hit. Not too surprising, but still. I would have preferred it not to happen. That's zero energy on that power node, strike one. I repeat, power node deactivated. Looks like you found the bomb. Get over there and deactivate it. Hold your horses, Dr. Shen. I'm making my way towards that position. Good, good. Headed there now. You don't need to move forward because you can reach the bomb, uh, power thing next turn, so... Roger that. I'm going to put him on overwatch instead in case there's going to be alien reinforcements. That's another power node down. Of course, it would be a good idea to heal him, but she also needs to reload. reach him from here. Yes, you can. Medikits have two uses. They can be either used to heal a unit, that's taking damage, or in the rare case that when your unit dies, they are only critically wounded and you can stabilize them with a medkit. And medkits only have one charge at the beginning, so be careful with them. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. That should Strike be easy one. enough. You've got a wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Objectives updated. Oh good, it's going to be on the roof. What the heck? You hit from all this way. <coughs> well. That was a bit surprising. Well, that went well. Hooray! Okay, my shotgun guy is a beast. Everyone gets a promotion, that's fantastic. Money and panic reduction, I like that. Where the heck is my shotgun guy? Wounded because you did damage. Android, James King Android. Okay, I take it back. You do have a lot of aim and you have really good will to revive. Uh, I lost medkits to revive critically wounded soldiers. So if somebody is critically wounded, uh, you can bring them back to fight. I don't like this ability because. I mean, if you have lots of medkits, then because you can heal them, but if you if a guy goes down and then you bring him back with a few hit points, and if he gets hit, he's going to die again. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea to me. The first standard shot made within four times of the target does not cost an action. This is amazing skill, so you can have it especially because you can run far. How about the others? You get... Ooh, lightning reflexes. Forces the first reaction shot against the UC unit, uh, this unit each turn to miss. 
Will to survive. Reduces all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flanked. These are both good. And it's really shame. It's a real shame that this one isn't the heavy. Because heavies they can't fire the rocket if they move. Also he has terrible movement, so I think it has to be this one. This is a really good ability ability because Especially with these sectors, because they're constantly overwatching. Uh, I could just trigger those overwatches and not get shot. But we'll have to we'll have to make do with the other. Gunsling a gun with two bonus damage with pistols. Mm, not useful with this guy. And more defense. Yes, please. And sniper. You want squad side because you want to stay afar and just keep shooting at the enemies who can't fight back at you. Good, good. We got the medal. International Service Cross. Plus two will per different nationality in the squad. Or plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. I want the other one. This one. Because this is going to take a while before it becomes useful. Right now it gives plus two. Most likely towards the end of the game it can give plus ten, yes, but it's going to give plus two, plus four most of the time. And that's not much. Whereas this one is much easier to get and will is important if you want psionic soldiers. So I shall take that one. But I will not award it to anyone. Again, if you can imagine a better name for this medal, do do, do leave us a suggestion in the comment section, and we'll rename it. We have money. What do we need to spend the money on? Actually, when we get the foundry, I know. And we did get the foundry. I'm not sure why it's so loud. Foundry online. Foundry online. Foundry projects. Yay! We can get better pistols. We can get. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, we can get this immediately. This will enable soldiers to bring a second item into battle. This is fantastic. I'm going to get it right away. Also, I'm going to do this to get a ship unit. They are fun little things. I'll send word to the foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. Yes, thank you, Dr. Shen. And I guess we are just going to let time pass then. Not much else that we can do. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. That really doesn't tell you anything. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Epic music. Flashing images. Ha. 
Hello, it's all in Makina. Sorry, I had to study. I don't know if I said those right. But yes, now we can build the cybernetics lab and the genetics lab. And I am most likely going to get the cybernetics lab. And I will build the genetics lab, but I really don't know if I'm going to be using it that much. So we can make mechs and we can... We can put alien goo in our soldiers. So hooray! Hope you like some alien goo inside you. Uh, how about we research xenobiology? Sounds like a good idea. Commander, our satellite is prepped. Now we have our thermal generator, and again it's quite loud, I don't know why, I'm sorry. Standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. So now we get quite a lot of power to build facilities. Yeah, 23. That's a lot. Excavate that one. Uh, excavate. I guess it doesn't really matter. Excavate that one. Might as well put them to something. Uh, oh yeah, we already launched the satellite, didn't we? Incoming transmission. So consular report. They will tell us how well we did, and we get a brief rundown of everything that we get during this month. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. I like his voice. Remember, we will be watching. He's such a no nonsense guy. We still can't. Oh. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Yeah, we can still build the satellite uplink. Although we will build a workshop, which will give us five more engineers. Uh, not yet. Because I'm hoping a mission will give me more engineers and then I can build the satellite uplink before the ne uh, this month's report to the council. If I start building the workshop, then I it it basically won't make it with the council report, so I'm not going to do it. Oh wait, I don't need to do that either. Haha! complete. So now we can make ships, which are super heavy inventory vehicles. So basically, they are little droids with wheels and mini guns. I'm going to make one of them. Because why not? Commander, oh, hello. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. I'm sure we can deal with it. Launch the interceptors. Interceptor, we only have one. <laughs> Bangs out. We are organization and our job is to protect Earth from alien invasion and we have one aircraft with crappy missiles. I am not impressed by XCOM funding levels. But we did manage to shoot down. That's really good. So yes, we get lots of stuff. Yeah. And right, you are back to your feet again, so you will get you will get customized. And this is the only time probably that I'm going to customize these guys in in front of the camera. I'm going to do them off camera next time. You... Uh, I'm not going to be using this name that one, one friend of mine wanted. Because he wanted a support class, so... You are going to be... You can be... 
hope I spell this right. I think I think that's right. He's a friend of mine. We play role-playing games together, and he's usually a fighter character. So I think it's appropriate that he is the assault class. We get a different colored armor. And you can be I like to have assaults as red. I'm not sure why, but we go with it. You can have nice heavy armor. It doesn't change anything, just looks cool. And some facial hair, sure. That's a good one. And some different hair. That's not him. Not at all. Oh, wait, that's color. So, let's see now. Yeah, sure, that's pretty good. And go with that, and. Yeah. That's. That's good. How about we give you... We want to give it to you. You only have 6 HP, so that's a bit boring. You can have the nanofiber vest. She doesn't have grenades, but we'll, we'll deal with that. I guess there's some stuff that I could make in the engineering, but... Ah, it's so loud! I'm not going to do them now. I'll order some later. Strike one. Prepare. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Yes, we have seen it already. Strike we don't need to see it again. Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Attempt? You don't sound like you have much confidence in my abilities, or the abilities of our soldiers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's some heavy cover. Understood. Moving out. And you can actually come up here because you now have squad sight. So if my if any of my teammates see aliens and there's nothing obstructing the view, he can take a shot. Off. So I just want you to have best possible vantage point and possibly as high up as I can, so that he can just snipe everything. And you can run over there. Sure, you can stay on Overwatch because you have amazing uh, hit chance. I don't like this terrain. I'm on it, Commander. Over here. Is that the melt? No, it's just a rock. Copy and that. run over here. No aliens, that's good. Moving to position. Aliens? No. Interesting. Uh, Overwatch. So those are sectors again? Yeah, a big surprise. You dumb dumb. Of course we are not alone here. Of course we are not alone out here. Yeah. English language. Why are you so difficult? Where the heck is the melt canister? I'm, didn't we... I thought there was supposed to be one over here somewhere. Huh. Oh, why didn't I pay more attention? Maybe 
slowly creeping forward. Moving. Take a step forward too. And since you moved, you can't overwatch, so just hunt it down. I don't really care if he is in overwatch with a pistol or not. I mean, it would be just better if it was. Oh, it's over here? What? Hmm. Welcome. Maybe I just really didn't pay enough attention to see where it was. I thought it was over here somewhere. Oh well, hopefully we can still get it. Visual on the good. Ah. Ah. Mm. I could take a huge risk and run over there with my assault. And still no aliens. Like, this is getting creepy. Where are all the aliens? We should be safe over there. Should be. And no aliens, good. He is pretty close to the battlefield if fight arrows, but that's fine. I Got think. It. Got it. I guess they are all just inside the ship. Must be. Boy. Oh. oh, these guys. On its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single yeah. targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Yeah, perhaps we should avoid those tentacles, Dr. Warren. What a jolly good idea. To that location. One fun thing about those aliens is... Besides that they can turn invisible and then they come and strangle you with tentacles. Is that you can actually kind of see where they are. There's one over here, for example. Because I can't move into this square. So there must be something there blocking me. Now if this guy had a, or this woman had a grenade, I could throw it over there. But she doesn't. Because I didn't give her any. And if you really want to, you can just scan the area, going like this, oh, where's the alien, where is the spot that I can move into. I will avoid doing too much of that. This guy has a grenade, so you will throw it over there, and hopefully there's something hidden there. And it's no longer hidden, haha, I see you alien scum, and I will fire at you with me gun. Oh, goody. <laughs> God dang it. And it's back to stilt. Crap. Well, it was a nice plan. Until it failed. And now, you fool, can suffer from your mistakes. Now it's over there somewhere. Uh, I need to destroy these aliens. I can't afford to go after it right now. So standard shot, doesn't end my turn. That's good. And overwatch. You can reload because you're not gonna hit anything anyway. Overwatch and a little bit closer and you shall overwatch too. The aliens can only stay uh, those aliens can always stay still for so long. So if you just wait, they should eventually reveal themselves I'm doing it again trying to see where it is we are going to take one turn and just wait and we are going to lose that melt but that's okay we don't need too much of it anyway there we go you have redeemed yourself the token woman character that's what's mean I can't remember their names, I will remember their nicknames, not their real names. Ah, uh, you really should reload. Already right there. over here. What is that? 
distortion in there. And sure. You can't run anywhere because you are a, sl you are a slow. Well, I was going to say something mean, but never mind. Let's say mean things about these aliens instead. That's three sectoids. One grenade over there will destroy all of them. But we are not going to do that. Uh, I'll run over here and hunk it down. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. Because the other option is to run away. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So take cover. Hunk it down. And these guys shall come to the rescue. Hopefully at least. That's the that's the hope. really don't like my situation. On I guess my you way. are just going to be here then. Hopefully kill one of them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now there's only two of them. I mean, he could make it pretty far there. But he only gets one shot because you can't combine combine close and personal with run and gun. So perhaps not the best idea. Uh, oh, hmm. Run over here. That's full cover. Of course, if they then circle around here, then you are flanked and you will die. Really are in a terrible position. Boy. Those are pretty good odds, but not good enough. So hunger down, and you are going to run away here. Out. Ah, he's probably going to shoot my assault. Yep. The only oh. computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. I think you just said shoot a rocket into that room. Oh no. Don't kill me. Ah. Yeah. So that was pretty close. That's how easily you can lose guys in XCOM. If that other guy had hit, and it was really good luck that he didn't, for me at least, I would have lost this guy. And that would have been terrible. Unfortunate miss. 62. Go. And you are gonna run and gun all the way to the back. I mean over here. Oh no. Oh no. Well they should be fine up they can they might be able to shoot at me. That is terrible. putting hair in harm's way. This is absolutely terrible, you know. Over here. And they are buffing themselves. Oh, goody. Well. Hopefully you are good with your sniper rifle, my friend. Not. No way that just happened. Well, yes, it did actually happen. 
Yeah. Foolish man. I'm going to heal his wounds so that hopefully if he gets shot he doesn't die. Yada yada yada. She said something. I, I honestly don't know what she said. Not that it wasn't not that it was English anyway, but you know, I have no clue what she said. Uh hmm. Reload. I could move him over here, which would be heavy cover, but it would also mean that everyone is going to shoot at him. We live dangerously, my friends. And we grenade the shit out of that sector. Oh, hello. You are in the wrong neighborhood, my friend. Oh, no. Ow. Well, luckily it's only one damage. Oh, right, because he... Ah, right. Of course it's only one damage. Well, you are going to show how you shoot somebody in the head. I'm about to start keeping score. You haven't up to this point. Yes, I guess you don't want to do it immediately. I killed my first alien. Hooray! Uh, we're just going to move to cover and overwatch and hope that he comes out of his hidey hole. Heading out. Back in. Load. Nope, he's content to stay there and overwatch. Oh, goody. <laughs> God damn it. This constant overwatching from them is <laughs> stupid. Because we are both just overwatching and nothing is happening. Now I'm afraid to move in case I accidentally lose somebody. Yeah, I know that there's still somebody out there. Oh, wait. Are, are you the same alien or are you a different one? How did you get over there? I thought you were over here. I guess. They're trying to pull back. Well, it just showed its face and then ran away. Coward. You can squash at him, but those are not good chances. Well, never mind then. Good shot. I'm all over it. We're going to proceed over here and find the last, last alien, which is one of those. Got something over here. These kinds. They are fun fellows. Oh, he can flank me from there? Ugh. I don't want to be flanked. Tactical retreat. I really thought that I would be safe there, but... I seem to have been mistaken. That's fine though. He can't... He can't kill my heavy soldier. Didn't even overwatch. So now's our chance. Shoot him in the head. There we go. Operational objectives completed. Well, there we go. Our first near. <laughs> we nearly lost one guy. It was the first time. So that's that was a bit scary. Most of the stuff was broken. We have medals available in the barracks, Commander. If you feel any soldiers merit an award. Thank you, Central. I will award them if I think somebody deserves them. 
You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Did it sound to you like Shen was really tired about the Central's nonsense? We can interrogate the aliens when we capture them, and Shen's like, mm, yes, that, because that's what I thought too. Anyway, and uh, now, yay! Construct a prison cell and research a stun gun. So that's the next thing that we have to do. And then we can proceed. Proceed with the plot of the game, yes. Uh, hmm, uh, hmm. I don't think we really get anything useful out of these. Oh, well, I mean, of course we get something useful. But there's nothing pressing that we need from these autopsies, so I'm not going to do them quite yet. I think I'm just going to do the arc thrower. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. That's really amazing, you know. And I want to get this build as fast as possible. So even if this isn't the best place to build it in, I'm going to put it right there. I would have preferred it to be over here somewhere, but it is what it is. But that's enough of this episode, it's already way too long. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode, hopefully you enjoyed it. The game is starting to get a bit scarier now that there's more aliens and our troops can get damaged, holy heck. Hopefully we don't end up losing anybody. Like I said off camera, I'm going to... Uh, go through these soldiers and give them nicknames, customize them a little bit and <laughs> Pox you are a support and your nickname is Pox I guess Longbow is appropriate for Sniper and Smoggy is for Heavy Pox? You're supposed to be a healer! Anyway leave a like and leave a comment on the video if you support me and it would be nice to hear what you guys have to say anyway thank you for watching this episode and i'll see you in the next one bye bye if i can find the right button